This problem gives us two identical spheres of mass m and charge q, and asks us to find the equilibrium distance d between them, where d is an expression given in the problem statement. Let's start by drawing a free body diagram for the sphere on the left. The forces on it are its weight, directed straight down, the tension along the thread, and the repulsive Coulomb force, repulsive because the two spheres have the same sign of charge. That force has magnitude 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, the product of the charges, divided by the square of the distance separating the two charges. That's the distance d shown here. If we sum forces in the vertical direction, it will equal 0 for equilibrium. So that tells us, after a line of algebra, that t equals mg over cosine theta. Doing the same thing in the x direction gives us this expression, which we can again solve for tension to see that it equals the Coulomb force over sine of theta. If we substitute in our expression for the Coulomb force from above, we obtain this result that we can now equate to the other expression for tension. If we solve for the quantity d squared, we get this result, which has a tangent of the angle theta in the denominator. We want to replace this with an approximate expression in the limit where theta is a small angle. If we look at the triangle that I'm outlining here, we can see that sine of theta is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is d over 2 divided by l. For small angles, tangent theta is approximately equal to sine of theta, so we can replace tangent of theta with d over 2l. That gives us this expression, which has another d in the denominator. So when we move it to the left-hand side and simplify, we find that the equilibrium separation distance d is given by this expression, which is what we were asked to find in the problem statement.